H.R. Giger was a Swiss artist well known for his images of humans and machines that are connected in cold biomechanical relationships. He is also responsible for all of the nightmares the xenomorph creature from the alien movies has given us all. His artwork is often considered dark, scary, sometimes grotesque, often with a measure of sexual fetish mixed in. It's not for everyone. And yet, most of us feel that even in his weirdest, scariest, and even grotesque works, there is something that appeals to our kinder, gentler selves. Giger himself is quoted to say, There is hope and a kind of beauty in there somewhere, if you look for it. There is a beauty in the ugly, in the decay, and the rot. The visible entropy creeping through the structures of New Orleans is a large part of that city's beauty. Skeletons are used as standard spooky Halloween fare, and yet the arcs and curves of our own bones just under the flesh are comprised of fascinatingly gentle splines and contours so alluring that we mimic their shapes in the sexiest of automobiles and liquor bottle designs. There is often a beauty in the art of the macabre, the ivory whites, the hyper blacks, high contrast, attention grabbing, senses heightened a bit simply from color and lines. Maybe a bit of leftover instinct from our animalistic past. The hollow form of a skull, the curve of a spinal column, the luscious red of blood, all symbols of danger, eminent threat, something to avoid, an arousal, both flight and fight bristling the backs of our necks. But we can choose not to flee, nor fight. We can embrace, enjoy, savor the prehistoric tingling impulses to turn away, stare natural fear straight in its piercing demon eyes as the cold connection of a shared inevitability warms with a mutual seduction. Savor the power you have over this fear, the ability to hold your ground against urges of avoidance, your own decision to linger in this darkened moment of beauty before you decide to turn back into the light, back towards growth and renewal, leaving the grim and ghoulish behind in the shadows until you meet once more as your long days of sunshine fade to dusk.